This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. I'm standing here with, uh, who am I standing here with? John Canarn. And you're a volunteer? Yeah, from K9 Alert Search Teams. Which is, where is that located? Out of Peterborough, New Hampshire. Okay, great. Now you guys operate statewide? or? Yes, we do. Okay. Now, uh, how much of the, the response today would you say, based on looking around, is, is volunteer and how much of it is, is professional? I believe we're the only ones here volunteer other than uh, Bedford Cert. And I mean professional only in the negative sense that it costs tax dollars. <laughs> but, uh, but, but the, um, uh, how long have you guys existed as an organization? Uh, five years. Okay. Uh, you, were you involved in the in the Alstead? What well, was it? Alstead, right? And, yep. and the um, yeah. the more recent. We had teams one. out there. We've had teams up in Conway uh-huh. just recently for uh, Abby. What has been your experience in terms of uh, the degree to which federals get involved when there's a moderate-sized disaster in New Hampshire? Do they interfere at all? No, not really. We don't always get called out when they are. It's getting hard for you know, the fire departments and everything to know that we exist. So it's been a lot trying to get known for that. I see. Yeah. Uh, do you do you guys in any way assist police with any kind of uh, taking people in for victimless crimes? Because, I mean, that, ha- that can happen during a disaster. Yep, do yep, you, we do. Uh, yeah, we go out on uh, cold cases. We go out and do any uh, human remains findings for them. Well, I, I don't think anyone could really object to that, but I'm, what I'm talking about is, are, are you involved in the in the more controversial side of what police do in terms of tracking down victimless criminals like drug offenders or No, we like don't that? do any of that. I Just see. the missing okay. missing people. Yeah, I mean, if someone escaped from a jail on a victimless that's crime, would you hunt them down? Nope. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, that's I'm just the... trying to find out whether you're part of the rescue process or yeah. part of the police state process. Yeah, no, so, just rescue. Okay. That's good. all we do. All right. Cool. Well, I much appreciate your time and probably answering some unconventional questions. Don't worry, you probably won't get asked this again for 10 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. Thanks much. Yeah, thank you. Right about here. All right. Cast three to cast seven. Over the main drag here. Turn yeah, left. Here. You want to go down to the second you light? Can you twice while you're seeing top? Okay. So that's my big question. Uh, we get to the point where National Guard troops are in our streets in New Hampshire for some reason. Are they going to take our guns? So far, they never have. Not to my knowledge, but uh, we've not yet had the big one here. So that's, I'm told, Chief O'Leary, uh, who I'd be talking to, hopefully. By the way, since I guess I've got nothing else to do for now, I guess I'll pontificate a little bit more about my relations with Bedford authorities. But I'm not sure that authorities would be quite the right word for this shot. And Bedford would not be the right word for that guy. I think he's either fishing game or state police. Anyway, on this event, I'm not sure how to rate it against other events of its type since it's really the first one I've been to as a YouTuber. I'll give them a so far. for access and uh, ability to talk to people declining to interfere with me. In the past I was at a wreck in Bedford where I stuck around to get a little video of the scene and uh, needed me for anything because I kind of witnessed what happened and uh, I didn't have to approach anybody with any questions. One of the officers came up to me and just introduced himself. He recognized me. Very nice. There was another incident where I uh, wanted to vote without showing ID at Town Hall. Uh, the ladies there in the clerk's office were very nice. But they weren't just, you know, line up along the road and let this guy do whatever he wants with a ballot, you know. Uh, they seemed to follow procedure. The gentleman who was showing me around was with uh, Bedford's community television station. Uh, and he was sort of acting as a, as a PIO type assistant. That's not him in the picture, but the uh, uh, I really appreciated uh, his interaction with me. I mean, he pointed me toward a good interview or two. Uh, his name is Bill 
beginning. Again, I don't have a picture of it. Right now. I don't really appreciate it. Looks like they're trying to do something interesting with Bedford uh, Community Access. Uh, the idea is to use the new liberalized, allegedly federal leg legislation to form a community radio station in Bedford that would be about 100 watts. It could be really useful for, I uh, hope, for uh, spreading disaster information during a crisis. Many of you have probably seen video of the incident where, where I was pulled over by Bedford PD. And, uh, I kind of misunderstood what they were saying to me. I sort of mishandled the situation by basically uh, mishearing practically everything the guy said. I thought he was telling me uh, all the things he wasn't telling me. I don't remember really exactly what it was, but uh, you know, he kept his cool, didn't get angry at me, didn't do anything to me. I wasn't really, as far as I know, breaking any laws. Uh, probably he, uh, the reason he pulled me over was probably because I was driving at a slower speed than most people uh, that particular day. It was just another positive experience. If you watch the video, it has all kinds of comments against me and not very many against the officer. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.